third take uh, because you see it's some logic here and <laughs> ah. I've started to build this uh, box here. Yeah, I will use these uh, nice uh, uh, broken solar panels, very light aluminum sheet inside. You see here with the heat exchangers, uh, the box uh, with a uh, place for the food, maybe a little fridge here be, uh, at the side, because you see that's the cold here, the cold uh, input. Perhaps I can make a, a small link so that the cold air uh, will also uh, get um, to um, to, to the fridge and uh, so I've uh, taken a look at this logic uh, because um, if you need to switch it um, then um, the thermistor here it's a 10 kilo ohm thermistor so uh, it's here the upper side <laughs> uh, when it gets hot uh, then the resistance uh, decreases and, and then it um, starts the, the cooling, so the, the compressor, and then if the temperature is getting colder, the resistance is increasing and the machine stops. And uh, so uh, I cannot use this uh, thermistor for, for, for the hot side because I would need the opposite. I would need, uh, you see, uh, the, the, the hotter it gets, um, it, um, it sh should be turned off, and when it's getting colder, it should be turned on. Uh, so I need... Uh, uh, that is uh, the resistance is increasing with uh, uh, the temperature getting hotter. Uh, maybe you know of such one, and you can post a comment. Uh, I think I have a simple solution here with a simple uh, switch. Uh, again, if you know a link to where to buy it, uh, where I can simply can say, okay, at 25 degrees, uh, I will close a contact and then I will simply uh, put uh, another uh, let's say five uh, kilo ohm resistor in parallel to to this resistor and so the resistance let's uh, you see this will be the outside and let's say it's um, zero degree outside so it will be 10 kilo ohm and at 10 kilo ohm the, the machine will uh, should be shut off uh, but if I then uh, here with the switch uh, sh um, Put a, another five, a 10 kilo ohm, another 10 kilo ohm in parallel. Then this will drop from 10 kilo ohm to 5 kilo ohm. The machine will think, oh, it's very hot, and it will start uh, the heat pump. Uh, and then um, making this uh, 10 de uh, zero degree uh, even colder. Let's see if this works. Uh, and outputting here uh, hot, hot air inside, and the temperature will go above in, inside my uh, tiny camper. <laughs> above 25 and this uh, this uh, close will, will stop and so the resistance will immediately jump to the original one and that's the thermistor here outside at zero degree so the resistance will jump to uh, something like that 10 kilo ohm and yeah the machine will stop the uh, machine will stop so the temperature is, is going back until it's below 25 degree and then it will put this resistor in parallel and immediately resistance dropping and the machine will start again so okay a simple um, knob uh, with a resistor and now i will <laughs> uh, show you what happens if i turn this on uh, these are capacitive uh, switches so if you touch it uh, did you see it and so here there's a, a, a somehow conducting foil and so I will have to make an opening here and put uh, some film on it, some tape that uh, can still uh, make this capacitive uh, switch uh, on. And here you see that's an in infrared uh, uh, receiver and it also works from, from, from the side. Uh, you see, uh, so if I put it here on top, I can still read and, and even um, could be able to press because uh, this box will be uh, 10 centimeters higher so I can uh, if I can still uh, use the remote from from both sides I might even read this uh, temperature uh, but I need as, as I said uh, some some tape uh, that I can uh, use they use some some sticker here for for insulation 
not very professional, but okay, it might work. Here there's this air filter, it can be uh, pulled out. There is a small uh, motor here indeed, uh, and so there's this, uh, here's uh, some uh, left and right, uh, left, right, uh, up, down. I don't see up, down, it's only left or right. Uh, don't need it because you see I use a uh, code output to uh, pump it upward so that I get a good circulation inside. But yeah, I don't know if other um, air conditioners portal has this uh, feature, so it, it's a nice machine and it has quite a big uh, compressor uh, here, so it's, it's not a small uh, like bottle one, but it's a, a, a wide one, so the entire here seems to be a, is a compressor. Uh, here there's this a small uh, valve that lets expand uh, the, the, the liquid to vaporize here. Okay, yeah, that's the look inside. Uh, here, uh, that's just a few, uh, an hour of, of moisture that's being sucked out. So if you need, uh, use it um, inside, uh, closed as a window air conditioner, you should uh, get a small um, air humidifier uh, or small uh, USB air conditioner. You could plug in here, don't say, may maybe half an amp. It's a trans uh, transformator, USB, so it's not uh, cannot deliver high current. Uh, but I, I need a small uh, humidifier uh, that I can uh, use this liquid as being sucked out because it has a condensated here at the at, at, at this uh, cool side uh, to be uh, fed into the. Uh, humidifier and then somewhere up there simply uh, some steam going up there which uh, then uh, vaporizes and uh, have a second cooling and then I will also have a nice uh, humidity because really after one hour inside you <coughs> getting a cough uh, because it's uh, getting too dry inside. Yeah, uh, better pull this out again. <laughs> Uh, but uh, you see, it's it, it's long enough, so it can be mounted here, and, and then you can uh, operate it from from both sides. And so, yeah, it's still looking quite nice. And here again, uh, this is short short graph. If you have a better idea, then uh, leave a comment. And bye bye.